finish in the Western Conference as we wind down to the playoffs. We should have a good show tonight. We have guard Jeff Hornacek with us here tonight. And one of my favorite people and most successful coaches in the collegiate ranks, my good friend from ASU, Mr. Bill Frieder will be with us. If you stay with us, I'll have my sidekick, Al McCoy, back with us. Stay with us. for this Western Conference race down to the final game of the season. Al McCoy, the voice of the Suns. Well, thank you, Coach. Nice to be here. I'll tell you, I couldn't help but think while you were doing the opening of the show, you talked about this Western Conference race. It really is going to be a battle right down to the April 21st deadline of the regular season. Yeah, I think everybody's saying, Al, that it's probably the best race in the history of the NBA. Never have six teams been so close at this stage of the season. You know, I wanted to ask you something tonight, Cotton. I think all of us uh, broadcasters, fans alike, get into how coaches use players, how they rotate their substitution patterns. A lot of NBA coaches through the years, I've noticed, maybe only play seven players, maybe eight the entire season. As I've looked at the Suns, particularly in recent weeks, I see 12 players on that bench, and from time to time, I see you look down and maybe call out a name or a number Perhaps a player hasn't played for three or four ball games, and he comes in and does a heck of a job. And I'm talking about Eddie Neely, who was our guest last week. Maybe it's Tim Perry. But answer my question if I'm right or wrong. I get the feeling that you're pretty confident in all 12 of your son's players that you can utilize at any time during the game. I think you're right, Al. I think what I've said before is each one of them brings a little different look to the party. So we're going to try to utilize them against certain people. I know in this week's game against the Utah Jazz, Tim Perry was called off the bench to guard Thurl Bailey because I remember with Tim's long arms and everything, he bothered Bailey a little bit. Whereas some of the other guys, maybe X or Neely or Rambus, a little bit shorter and could not bother Bailey, and that's why we used him. Well, this week we saw Utah, we saw Golden State, we saw the Lakers, but you talked about the Utah game. What a great win it was over the Utah Jazz Tuesday, and I know you have some big plays to show us, guys. Yeah, two of the big plays. You're going to see K.J. penetrate and dish 